The DePaul Theater School Building, completed in 2013, combines the university community and the surrounding city into one. To have this facility, to actually really be able to engage our neighbors and the DePaul community, um, we're able to host events um, and discussions around the productions. Um, separate from the productions, we can host other people's events here. So I think it's really helping us to become more of a community resource and not be so isolated among the rest of the DePaul community. So it's, it's been really great to be able to welcome and not only new patrons, but maybe DePaul University students, faculty, or staff that had maybe never been to one of our shows or, or never really seen the work that we'd done. The backdrop of the DePaul campus, as well as the Chicago skyline, give people meeting and working in the building a breathtaking view of the architecture of the city and modern style of the building. I think one highlight feature um, in the building is our conference room. We have a, a, a lovely conference room on the fifth floor that has a beautiful view of downtown, and it's just kind of reminds us of, you know, where we are and how lucky we are to have this building and, and to be able to welcome people here. The theater school was designed by architect Cesar Pelli, who incorporated DePaul's essence with a modern twist. This, this new building was custom made for the work that we're doing here, for the work of designers, directors, actors, so it's really wonderful and it's such a testament to um, the commitment that DePaul has to not only theater but the arts in general and I think it's you know forces us to, to be our best selves and forces our students to do their best work knowing that there's so much support behind them. The inviting views inside and out engage the students and the outside community to see beyond the stage. Another great feature features that are throughout the building are really just an openness and transparency. So unlike most professional theaters where you may never see the backstage area, we really wanted our neighbors and the community to realize what happens behind the scenes. So uh, on the first floor is our scene shop, which is um, filled with glass windows. You don't usually see that. So that people walking by can see the activity, can see the building of the sets and those kind of activities. Um, a lot of our classrooms and pretty much every room in the building has a window. So we're really um, wanting to showcase not only what's on stage, but all of the supporting factors that go into the making of theater and, and the education here. Almost every feature of the building is aimed at stimulating creativity. I think this building really reflects the work that we're doing here. Um, it demonstrates the high quality of the work here and also um, like Anna mentioned, the openness and really having a sense of community here. Um, people from the community can come in and see the work we're doing, but also students are really supportive here. So my favorite room in the building is actually our Skylit Lounge. It's a space designed specifically for the students to meet together for group projects, especially since theater is such a collaborative art form. It's a beautiful space with um, big skylit windows um, that really, again, with the openness and allows us to be very creative and collaborative there. It's hard to miss the theater school located on the corner of Fullerton and Racine. This must-see building is a lens into the DePaul and Chicago theater community. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Nicole Capone.